Hello there and welcome back to my new Subnautica Let's Play. Today we are gonna craft a couple things and probably get to explore that suspicious little cloud over there. And just before starting the recording I got a little message um, on the bottom half of our screen that this whole thingy here is gonna... well let's say it's gonna go boom in exactly two hours so we'll see how how quickly I can make everything happen and how quickly we are going to see that thing explode all right where were we where did we leave this um, let me quickly check what we can make I think one thing that we wanted to complete today is the rebreather because with that we can go a lot deeper um, down into the ocean which will be very useful Secondly, did we have any new locations? Lifeboats 3 and 17, we've already visited those, so not yet. Alright, I think we can try to get the sea moth as well in this episode, pretty sure we're gonna get it. Oh, we've just received a radio signal, let me quickly hear that. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunday. Aurora D. Reed, over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. Still looks nice. Still looks like a beautiful game. Nice. Alright, where can we go next? I'm gonna try to gather a couple of things and... Oh yeah, right. Um, rebreather. What do we need for that? What do we need? Wiring kit and fiber mesh. The wiring kit needs two silver ore, we do have that already, and the fiber mesh does need two creep vines. Alright, let me try to get all of that, shouldn't be hard. Well then, I've crafted the mesh and now the wiring kit and then we should be able to make ourselves the wonderful rebreather. I'm not sure how much it upgrades our depth ability, but I'm sure we're gonna get to go a lot deeper. There we go. How far down can we go with that? Doesn't seem like it's gonna show us exactly, but I'm quite happy about that. Alright, where do we head next? Technically we could go explore this wonderful huge thing before it explodes on us, so... Yeah, I'm quickly gonna go over there. I hope that we're not gonna get eaten by anything, and yeah, mostly hope we're not gonna get eaten. Ooh, laser cutter fragment. That's gonna be useful. Okay, we need one more to make the part, and then we can go into other, like, shipwrecks, and we can cut through doors, and that makes it a lot more useful. All right, getting closer. But there's a couple of shipwreck thingies here, so I'm gonna go explore everything around here in hopes of finding something good. Sample analyzer? That's interesting. Oh no, sea glide fragment. Don't make it start again, please. Okay, don't think that there's anything else uh, around here, so we're gonna go and get closer to the magnificent huge Aurora. Ooh, what's this? Nice, we can use that. 
Quantum detection. Oh, that's that's way. That's not supposed to happen yet. That's the explosion. It was not supposed to happen yet. It was supposed to happen in a couple hours, I thought. So I hope we're not too close to it. Yeah, that sure can't be good, so I'm just gonna go back and hide in our life pod. Alright, we have a new radio signal. Hopefully something good. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. All right. Um, not sure what that's gonna mean for us right now, but I think we can try to make the radiation suit next. We shouldn't need too many things from that. And most of it we already got. So let me quickly get um, everything we need for the fiber mesh again. I believe we already do have some lead somewhere. Yes, there we go. Two pieces of lead. There we go. And with that, we technically should have everything we need. I'm not sure if we can wear the suit constantly, but it's gonna get useful at some point, because we're gonna have to get close to the Aurora, which is pretty much completely um, well, infested by radiation. Right, so now we have the suit on, we can put on the helmet if we need to, but right now I'm... I'm pretty much prefer the rebreather because that way we can wander around and go everywhere we want without much well fear and having to wonder about if we can go deep enough and the battery of our sea glide is running a little low so i think we're gonna try to get a battery soon Luckily, we really don't need much for that, and apparently we already do have most of it. So, next time I will be back at our base. Or rather, where's that flying there? It's probably not supposed to be. Anyway. As I was saying, um, next time we are back at our life pod, I'm gonna have a look at getting ourselves a new battery for the sea glide. Hopefully we can find the last fragment of the sea moth, because that thing is really useful and is gonna get handy really nicely. Sea moth fragment? Really? That's lucky, actually. Nearly didn't see it. I thought it was some kind of ore or something. But that's, that's great. That's really nice. That's gonna get really useful. I'm not sure if we have everything we need for, um, what's it called, mobile vehicle bay, yeah. So we can't make the sea moth yet, but um, I'm quite positive that we're gonna find it soon enough. What is that whole chunk? Salt deposit. That's interesting, alright. I think I'm gonna try to make two of the batteries in one go, so that we don't have to gather a lot of them every now and then. I think we can mostly change the batteries when our power is completely run out, so we'll swim around for a couple more minutes and 
I'm sure it's gonna run out every second now. Another sea glide fragment. <laughs> Not sure if it's worth scanning all of them, but at least they're gonna be gone after that. Beacon fragment, also not, uh, not that bad, I guess. There we go. We can exchange it to this one now. And there we go. Completely new power. Alright. I need to get up there for oxygen, but we're gonna pass to... Reefbank Leviathans. Radiation? Oh. Apparently I'm getting close to the Aurora. I don't really like that, but well. Did we already visit that one? Don't think so. <laughs> Apparently I've just discovered one of the life pods, even though I shouldn't have yet. Alright, hope I'm not breaking anything. That's a little overwhelming if there's all of those voices I do once. But I'm not really gonna look at what those data... Uh, what that data says anyway, so... I can just uh, get everything and ignore it. So, yeah, doesn't matter. Ooh, laser cutter fragment. Nice. That way we can start gathering everything we need for that thing. Diamond. Well, we're not gonna get that anytime soon. Except for maybe if we go visit uh, one of the islands a little early. Because one of the videos I watched at some point uh, mentioned that there were diamonds on one of the islands, but... In the last run, where I did get to one of them, I didn't see any of them, uh, any of those diamonds laying around anywhere, so I'm a little skeptical about where to find those. But right now, I'm mostly interested in finding fragments of the good old vehicle um, building thingy. What was it called again? Mobile vehicle bay. Yeah, nothing. What is this? Looks like kind of, kind of a. What is that? What, what do we have here? All right, we have the radio signal, and so much for not wanting to go to the island already. That's an interesting little fish. Oh, I can take them. Interesting. Alright, that's not the island I was the first run, though, so that's cool. And apparently it's a solid one, because the other one is a little more interesting in some parts. Those things on the bottom there are not nice. Oop. Better not of Yeah, I'm just I'm just not gonna bother. Where did my radio signal go? Was it about LifePod 6? Did I just kind of take care of that before even even having to go there? Seems like it. I feel like I'm kind of breaking the game a little bit right now. I hope it's not going to cause any issues. I just simply want to get some stuff and have an interesting let's play. You there, you, you stay away from me. I'm not interested in fighting you. I don't know how to, so I'm not even going to try. Let thingy, the whole clot of it. Oh, hell no. Nope, you don't. Not on my watch. Not with me. Not today. Uh, 
seems like we're gonna go on top of this island now. I hadn't really planned on it, but seems like we don't really have anything else to do. Ooh, that was a diamond. <laughs> so now that weird company is saying that if we find diamonds, we need to pay them. Because they're apparently a little greedy. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm not interested in fighting any of those things. Oh no. Not those things. Okay, it's dead. Because those things can be dangerous too. Alright. I hope we can find another one of those diamonds. Because the laser cutter could be very useful. Okay. I'm not sure what those sounds are, but I hope we'll survive. Hope we're not in danger or anything. Is that gonna be another diamond? Break shale outcrop. Lithium. That's interesting. Another diamond. Oh, hello you. Yeah, I think it's dead. Another piece of gold. We're really getting some nice things around here. That's interesting. Oh, what the heck is that? I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I'm quite certain that we're not supposed to find it yet. Definitely not, no. I'm just gonna turn around and act like I didn't see anything. <laughs> Nope, 360, not, no, not up for that. I don't even have my Seamoth yet. Please tell me it's a little bit safer here. Looks like it, luckily. I hope. No, never mind. Please stay away from me. Okay. I do not want to fight any of those because I'm way unequipped. I'm not ready to fight them. And here we are again, back at our life pod. I hope we still have um, one of those uh, sulfur things. Okay, sulfur. Um, otherwise I'm gonna have to go check and get some. Yep, there we have it. Nice. Do we have a radio signal? Yes, we do. Let's craft ourselves the Reaper tool while doing that. sound of it. Let me put that right here and let me disable some of those blueprints because I don't want to see that all the time when we don't even need it. Now, do we have any large chunk that we can go to where we can cut through doors or anything? Ooh, and that's useful. Hopefully we can find more of those around here. And another radio signal. I'm gonna look at that real soon. Mm -hmm. Worth going down here, apparently. That was quick. There we go. What do we need for that? Let me quickly check. Titanium, a lubricant, and a power cell. We already have the power cells. Or do we? 
No, just batteries. Okay, but the power cells are just an upgrade to that, I believe. Two of them. Okay. And silicone rubber. I'll quickly put everything on the list and then we can get that. I think I should have everything, so let's hear the radio. Okay, so we have a new location we can go to now. Okay, all the way down there, sunk to the ocean. I've bought 12. Alright, it's very deep, so we're gonna get ourselves the Seamoth before we go over there. Let's mark this. Titanium ingot, power cell, and glass, lubricant, and lead. We can make that. Ultra glide fins. Ooh, we can make those too, and then we'll probably be able to swim even faster. Yes. Nice. I like that. Alright. Let's drop down this good old thing. Didn't mean to drop it like that. What I actually meant to do was... Um, can I put it somewhere here? Yeah, I guess. I guess right there. We don't really need the repair tool most of the time. And there we go. Alright. So, I'm gonna get everything we need for... I guess both of them, and then we can start exploring. I now do have everything. But I think we can't really make those special fins yet. At least I don't know where. First, though, we can make ourselves the sea moth. I have I have collected everything we need for that. So yeah, we can at least go and get that ready. Oh yeah, and we also have at least one uh, radio signal while I was working. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we've got another location we can go to. And I think from that location over there, we can after that go to the other island. So that's going to be interesting. Alright, what can we make? Vehicles, Seamoth, here we go. Safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Nice. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. What should we go to first? I think that one probably. Radiation detected. How close to the thing are we, even? Uh, maybe too close. I think I'll probably have to put on our helmet. And there we go, let's put that on, and now we should be safe to go. Right back down there. We're getting into one of the funky biomes now. This one looks pretty cool. Some glowing things flying all around. Or well, swimming, rather. But it looks pretty interesting here, yeah. And I should be a little more careful because 
This is not the way to go. Can I get out of here? I think just barely. Somehow. What's that up there? Is that another life pod? Interesting. Life pod 4, as it seems. Doesn't look very successful either, though. Alright. We are now really above it, so shouldn't take much longer. It's getting dark down there though. Okay, no, never mind. We can see just fine because of all the glowing life down there. Ooh. And those Oop. Hull damage imminent. Yay. We can't even reach that yet. That's a little disappointing. I hope to get there by now. Wait. Can we even get to that one then though? That one's less deep. Let's just go to that one first, but try to stay above 200 meters with the sea moth. And there it is. Ooh, is that a lava cave? Interesting. Oh no, what are those? I don't like that. Let me try to get a little closer. But try to pay try to stay above the deadly 200 meters. Um for our sea moth. Okay, let me quickly gather everything we can and just get back out of here. Oh, that's dangerous. Very dangerous. Anything around here? Nothing that we need right now. Something trying to snap at us, I think. Yeah, 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 I, I understand. I understand. Let's just get back in our sea moth and go right to that other part. We are done here, let's continue. I think we might make a little stop at our lifeboat because, as it seems, we've even got two radio signals now, so I just quickly want to get rid of those and see where we can go next. Okay. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay, interesting. Not quite sure what that means now. But let's first, um, I think let's quickly repair our good Seamoth because it took a little bit of damage. Alright, let's get back and let's go to Second Officer Keen. Oh, this is really deep territory here. Okay, apparently we are pretty low down. I'm quickly going to change back to the rebreather so that we can dive a little deeper and now let's see what we can find around here. That thing is way down. Looks kind of beautiful here though. Alright, let's see what we can get. Alright, that's it from right here. Oh, another PDA. Oh, 
two and even our first chance to try out the laser cutter. Interesting tool, very very practical and very bright. Okay, I think I'm gonna catch a quick breath in our Seamoth so that we have full oxygen when we go in there. There we go. Alright. What do we have in here? A couple of things that seems. What's that? <gasps> Modification station. That's gonna be useful. That's gonna be nice. Whatever that is. Another part of the modification chamber or station and another one so that we have three of them and can make it already. Great. Food. Always welcome. Always welcome here. Ooh. Can I get in here somehow? Is there any way to get further in here? Apparently, but nothing back here. All right. What is that? That's really weird. Weird. Weird, but whatever. Okay. We've got two signals. We've got a signal over there. Aurora rendezvous point. Dry land. Um, I think that should be the other island. But right now, to be honest, I think we should end this episode right here for now. So, we're gonna end this and we're gonna go to that wonderful island in the next episode. As you can see, there's a couple of interesting things all around here. And yeah, we're gonna have a look at all of it. Also, in case you remember what I said earlier, this island is a little special. It's not solid ground and not... Like, it's not solid, you know? It's kind of floating, so we're just gonna have to go around here and find an entry point where we can land our Seamoth, and then we will explore this weird looking island and uh, go see what it's all about with the rendezvous point. And as you can see, we also have a new radio signal so i'm looking forward to that but i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope we can see each other in the next one so with that as always thank you for watching if you liked it like or even subscribe and we'll see each other in the next one bye bye for now and see ya